Hello to everyone, welcome to another of my engineers video of Batman's story channel. Today, my dear friends, we will talk about Alpha Rubicator system and we will see some aspects of the system. Thank you that you have subscribed to the channel and also your thumbs is always on the top and I'd like to thank you for your comments which is really really important to motivate this channel and all persons which is contribute here. A lubricator which injects a specific volume of oil into each cylinder for each second or third revolution, uh, the oil which is injected inside by pressurizing by means of alpha lubricator on each cylinder equipped with small multi-piston pumps. The amount of oil fit to the injectors can be finely tuned with an adjusting screw which limits the length of the piston stroke. The cylinder oil oil consumption in the ME type engines with electronic lubricators has come down to 0.7 grams uh, British horsepower per hour. The whole system is controlled by cylinder control unit CCU which calculates the injection frequency on the basis of engine speed signal given by the TAHO signal and the fuel index. The cylinder oil can be introduced to the individual cylinder at any piston position, but preferably when the piston rigs are adjacent to the lubricating wheels. The computer synchronizes itself at each revolution when the piston for cylinder number one is at top dead center, the injection function is controlled by the computer sending an on-off signal to a solenoid valve. The dosage of the oil can be adjusted, means of adjustment a screw which limits the stroke of main lubricator piston. After a predetermined time interval, the computer transmits a off signal to the solenoid valve which shuts off the system pressure and opens the return oil system. The amount of oil injected varies as required. At low changes, start stop or increase engine load. Alternatively, the dosage of oil feed to the individual cylinders can be adjusted by injecting a calibrated amount of oil a number of times at a given number of revolution. A combination of the two systems can also be used in the event of malfunction solenoid valve or transducer. The oil dosage will automatically be increased to the maximum volume if the oil pressure falls, the computer will start standby pump, close down the faulty pump and set on a alarm. The alpha lubricator cylinder has demonstrated a reduced reduction of cylinder oil feed rate to 0.3 grams per British horsepower per hour, which on the 50,000 British horsepower engine saves about 50,000 of US dollars. So here in this figure, you can see the, that the boil cost is the most important in nowadays and even more important than liner wear, the cost is really, really big. That's why uh, every time somebody shares something new. And for now we have alpha lubricator, which is most efficient way to reduce the cost and reduce the environment impact through the lower quantities that burn inside the cylinder. So, a pump station delivers the oil to the lubricators at 45 bar pressure. Uh, the lubricators have a small piston for each oil wheel in the cylinder liner and the power for the injection oil comes for 45 bar system pressure acting on a larger common driving piston thus the delivering site is a conventional common rail system whereas the injection site is a high pressure positive displacement system thus giving equal amounts of lube oil to each wheel and the best possible safety margin against clogging and single uh, of lube oil wheels. For the larger bore engines, each cylinder has two lubricators, each serves half of the lube oil wheels. 
an accumulator, while the small bore engines with fewer lubricator wheels per cylinder are served by one lubricator per cylinder, and the pump station includes uh, two pumps with one which is standby and also have some filters and coolers. So the lubricator can be delivered for our conventional engines, in which case it's controlled by a separate computer unit compromising a main computer, controlling the normal operation, a switchover unit and a simple backup unit. A shaft encoder supplies the necessary timing signal in that case. When used on intelligent engines, these functions are integrated in the engine control computers and their shaft encoders. The lubrication concept is intermittent lubrication. A relative ra ra large amount of lubol is injected for every four, five or six revolutions that actually squeezed between determined by the dosage which is desired uh, in grams per British horsepower per hour. The injection timing is controlled precisely and by virtue of the high delivery pressure, the lubol is injected exactly when the piston ring pack is passing the lubol wheels, thus ensuring the best possible utilization of costly lubol. The safety features of these systems are the follow. In the system, if one lubricator malfunctions in uh, engines with bore from 980 to 700 mm bore engines, the old dosage from the other lubricator will automatically double and an alarm will be given, whereas for engines 600 to 260 mm bore engines, an alarm and also slow down the engine. An inductive sensor in each lubricator monitors the movement of lubricator piston. A signal is sent to the control computer system, CCS, which has a backup safety. A backup for safety for sure. The oil is supplied at the correct timing within a short time and overriding the internal pressure of cylinder. A single lubricator unit has five or six plungers, which plungers are driven by a single hydraulic piston. If every cylinder has seven or more lubricator openings, two of the lubricator units are installed. The hydraulic pressure is controlled by solenoid valves. A portion of the return oil is fed to the plunger barrel via a split for succeeding oil cycle. According to the working oil is the cylinder oil. The movement of the hydraulic piston is monitored by a feedback sensor, a proximity sensor to confirm the oil functioning and watch the oil timing to automatically adjust the timing. The control is performed by a controller provider with a computer. Both the rotational angle and the pump lag signal are entered in the controller. With the enter information, the oil volume and the oil timing are adjusted. The timing for initiate the oil action is immediately before the first ring passing through the oil wheel with a short time period until the fourth ring passes. The oil is fed to the cylinder as large volume as possible. As a result, the volume of the oil feed in one cycle increases thus the oil is not feeded at every revolution. The intermittent lubrication is given to adjust the oil volume and the number of oil cycles is controlled by computer to give the desired volume as the total. Also, I'd like to tell you two criteria for lubricant control which is really, really important. Always remember that the cylinder oil dosage shall be proportional to the sulfur percentage in the fuel. The, also, the second one is that the cylinder oil dosage shall be proportional to the engine load, the amount of fuel entering the cylinders. The implementation of the above two criteria will lead 
an optimal cylinder oil dosage proportional to the amount of sulfur enters the cylinder. Safe and very loop economical control is obtained with basic setting according to the formula that the basic loop oil setting equals 0.32 grams divide kilowatt per hour by sulfur content percentage. Typically saving depending on the sulfur percentage and the average load will be 25 to 30% compared to alpha lubricator in MEP control mode. The above principle is founded on the observation that the main part of the cylinder liner wear is a corrosive nature and the amount of neutralizing alkaline components needed in the cylinder should be therefore be proportional to the amount of the sulfur generating the sulfurous acids entering the cylinders. A minimum cylinder oil dosage is set in order to account for other duties of the cylinder oil securing sufficient oil film and detergency, which is really, really important. So guys, we come to the end of this video today and I'd like to thank you that you have stayed and you watch all the 10 minutes and more that I have uh, produced for you and I believe that you really like it. So your thumbs on the top and your comments, I will really, really appreciate to watch them and read them. I always read all the comments. So also I'd like to inform you that I have a full video from Alpha Lubricator, how to make uh, all the maintenance. It's a really big video. And if we reach 100 likes in this video, I will upload it for sure. So set your thumbs on the top. Don't forget to see the lives and I will make soon a live so we will communicate together again it's so useful and so nice to have a live channel and so much people to be contribute together so thank you again don't forget adventure story is with you always bye bye